Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone, I'm Nata Anissa. In this video, I want to tell you about JARA analysis or reading passage. Okay, the first time, we must know what is the meaning of JARA. JARA is a subject that discusses the grouping of text types. Genre analysis is a process of looking at several samples of a particular genre to analyze their similarities and differences in terms of their purposes, macrostructure, and also language choice. The lottery of the approaches to genre analysis. The first is Swall's approach. In this approach, focuses on the moves and steps analysis within a genre. The second is Australian system or functional system method. This approach focuses on the forms and function of language. And the last is new rhetoric. This approach focuses on the intention and effect of language. Okay, now it's about genre category. There are non-fiction and fiction. Non-fiction is a genre that contains writing to do not require imagination, while fiction is a genre that is usually a story that requires imagination in its processing. Okay, now. The examples of non-fiction, there are memoirs, biography, journalism, autobiography, and essay. Memoirs, memoirs is reminiscence that are similar to autobiography with judgment, impressions, and responses to event experience and the characters associated with them. Essay, a piece of writing that is written to convince someone or something to simply inform the reader about a particular topic. Next is biography. Biography is a story written about someone's life. Autobiography is the biography of oneself narrated by oneself. And the last is journalism. Journalism is the activity of gathering, assessing, collecting, and presenting news and information. Okay, next is the example of fiction. There are romance, fan fiction, fantasy, mystery, and historical fiction. Historical fiction is a genre of stories that has a setting in the real world, but at different times. The next is romance. It's a genre that actually elevates everyday life. In romance, there is an element of daily life that likely is called slice of life. Next is fan fiction. It is a story that is made as a tribute to something that has a copyright is known as something that already exists. Fan fiction can mean imaginations of fans. Okay, the next is fantasy. It is a genre that has magical and supernatural elements. They bring in a world that seems surreal, but it's actually very logical. Fantasy is a manifestation of high level of creativity that demands free imaginations, but also remains logical and rational. The last is mystery. Mystery is a story that is tasked to make the reader feel curious. Okay, now is generic structure. Generic structure are a major part of genres. The function of generic structures is to tell the reader how the text was made. According to generic structures analysis, 
can make me more understanding about the management of genres. English is one of the languages that has many types of text, and each text has a general structure. Okay, this is the term of general structure. Okay, the first is general statement. Judging from its own meaning, the term expresses an opinion in general. Usually, the general statement is expressed directly by the author as a form of expressions about the phenomenon or event raised. The next is argument. Statements that should that support issue as well as unsupported statements. Next is interpretation. In this last pattern, the writing will appear about the user's impressions when using the product. Now is pieces. Paragraph containing the author statement on the matter being discussed. The next is abstract. Summary of the story is usually in the form of unusual or odd events in the story to be conveyed. Next is events. This term denotes an event told in a text. Now is explanation. Contains a series of sequence of events from a process that is the topic of the text. Background event. Explain how an event is mentioned in the first paragraph. This is a paragraph that contains a background. Newsworthy event. Contains an introduction or orientation about who, what, where, and when the event. Introduction. The pattern that first appears when we create a text review is introductions. In this initial pattern, the author is asked to explain about the main description of something to be written. The next is evaluation. Evaluation given by the elder of the work being discussed. No is reorientation. The author's final statement on the experience that has been done. It's usually an impression. Okay, the next is issue. Explain the issues that are being limited. Usually things that are easy to cause pros and cons, opinions agree and vice versa. Orientation. The term refers to the introduction in a text. This initial part will lead readers to guess what kind of the content they read. Okay, the next is conclusion. This term is a part of the text in the form of the author's conclusion to the topic raised. Next is description. This term is presented to complete the overall picture of the notes already mentioned in the general classification. Okay, and the last is general classification. The term is intended for a general review of the known being listed. Okay, that's all about my explanation about general analysis or reading passage. I hope it can be useful for all of us. Thank you so much for watching this video. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.